What's going on, YouTube? Today we'll be talking about which one is the better cert, CompTIA SEC Plus or CompTIA CYSA. What's going on, guys, man? It's your boy HD. Hey, I appreciate you for tuning back into the channel. <laughs> oh, that's weird. I'm not doing that again. But hey, guys, um, today I'll be talking about what's the better cert, SEC Plus or CYSA Plus. But first things first, if it's your first time here and you're interested in IT news, cybersecurity news, job tips, career advice, you name it, hit that subscribe button. Now, for all you guys that are familiar with the channel, I did do a video uh, basically talking about the best entry-level cert that you can get in 2020. If not, you can click on this above in the title up there. But in today's video, we'll be discussing what's the better cert, CYSA Plus or Security Plus. And before we get into everything, it really comes down to preference and what you really want to do with your career on what cert that you would basically believe is better. Okay guys, starting off with the description of uh, the certs, I might have the actual literal description in my description with links to where I got this information from. But to paraphrase everything, Sec Plus is a cert that is supposed to be basically a uh, used to give you regular skills uh, to handle a wide array of things. So it's pretty much very vague, but a good intro to cybersecurity. It can help you figure out what path you want to go into. And that's why it's geared like that. Now, moving along to the CYSA Plus. CYSA Plus is more of a uh, intermediate cert, more so geared at people who are in the realms of cybersecurity analysts. You could be on um, the blue team, which you're defending, or sometimes you can be red team, penetration tester, and all those type of roles right there and other roles as well within that but for the most part uh, CYSA plus is a more specific cert it's a more specific cert and to me that's why I love it so when we talk about the price it's literally a ten dollars difference between these certs and it's funny because CYSA is an intermediate cert set plus is entry level set plus is coming in at 350 CYSA plus is coming at 359 and the good thing is, uh, if you're in school, sometimes they give you a free voucher to take these. If you're a veteran, you get vouchers to take them. And sometimes they just run in sales. So you might not have to pay that to uh, take the test. Along with, if we go ahead and get to the next subject, studying. You get study material. Sometimes you get a subscription to like IT Pro TV, Cybrary, uh, courses on Udemy, Pluralsight, Skillsoft, you name it. You can get all those courses on there. You can buy books from Amazon, from Cybex, uh, Barnes & Noble, wherever. So that'll be included in the price. So depending on what you think you may or may not need, we'll basically figure out what you would spend in total for taking these certs. Um, when it comes down to what the exams cover, pretty much the same domains, in a sense. Uh, I think it covers a little bit more domains than SIG Plus because it's trying to cover like a wider base. Um, CYSA Plus, I think, has five domains that it covers, and that's more so what you'll be working on if you're doing a cybersecurity analyst role, because you'll be more concise in your efforts on what you do on a day to day. Now, difficulty, uh, this is a big one right here. Uh, the edge is going to go to the CYSA Plus. Uh, it's a much harder cert, it's an intermediate cert. If you don't have experience, even with studying and being a good studier and a test taker, you could potentially fail the test. And it's not to scare you, it's just meant for people who have experience. Now you can get a test bank and do all this and that and try to memorize stuff and try to know how to do the simulations. But at the end of the day, it's not gonna help you because if you're just memorizing stuff in your certs and you can't apply it to your jobs, you become a cert chaser. And I may make videos on cert chasers one day, but you don't wanna be a cert chaser because it doesn't help you Land, get jobs and stay at jobs. But for the sake of that, we're not gonna talk about that. And then we'll compare to Set Plus. Set Plus is an entry level cert, and honestly, you had little to no experience, and you can have the basis of having common sense. You can study and pass Set Plus. For example, I did it in 2013, studied for about a month and a half, made sure I knew everything, got hundreds and everything on the test. I even on the test, I pretty much didn't pass any of the simulation parts of the Set Plus because. When I was studying, my laptop was stupid. I wasn't able to do the simulation, so I didn't know how to do them. 
and I still pass without doing that. So, all that being said, Sec Plus is the much easier cert to get, most much easier cert to study and pass for. I would not recommend that for the CYSA Plus because nine times out of ten, you fail and you wasted upwards of five hundred dollars. Come on, you don't want to do that. So go with the first one first. Um, now, uh, Sec Plus or the CYSA Plus, you can get most of the same jobs: security analyst, vulnerability analyst auditors, eventually like a CISO, security engineers. You can pretty much get the same role. But um, in my experience, uh, right here is going to say which one you should get. And it's a toss up. It honestly depends on your experience level and what you're trying to do in your career. If you have no experience and maybe a couple of years of IT experience or maybe trying to transition from a different career, go to SEC Plus route. It's meant to you just a basic level understanding of cybersecurity and what it is and what does it mean to make sure that a company's information and all the security and protocols are being followed when you have a job. That's what it's meant for and it definitely uh, will help you start off your career. But if you're already in your security career, maybe one year, two year in and you want another challenge and you don't want to waste money on a useless CEH, in my opinion, I call it useless because how can you be uh, cert about hacking and not have any simulations on a hacking exam. It's all multiple choice. The CYSA Plus is ranked at the same level as that and much cheaper, but it is harder. But it's a benefit. Literally, I got the cert and after I got the cert, everything at work, my level got better. And I went from level one, now I'm at level two. Not saying just because you get a cert, you don't get a promotion. But certs are intended to help you get better at your jobs. And that's the focal. Yes, it's also you want to get another job, but certifications help you do better at your job. So look for certs that help you get better at your job. And that will be your answer on what cert you need to get. If you feel like Sec Plus is going to help you out and it's easier to test, go for it. If you had a standstill, try to see why it's A Plus out. You can't go wrong with either cert. Uh, I'm biased, but I say I got the most value out of CYSA Plus, but maybe that's because I got to apply it very quickly to my career opposed to when I got SEC Plus seven years ago. Who knows? So that's why I'm biased towards it. But hey guys, this has been my short video on the differences between the SEC Plus and the CYSA Plus. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button, share this on your social media, and comment below. If there's anything I didn't cover in the video, comment that below too. Uh, video requests, my email stays in the description. Uh, if you need some career help, consulting advice, reach out to me. I'll reach out to you. I'm very flexible and I'm personable. But hey guys, this has been another episode of Techno Chatter. It's your boy HD. I'm out.